everybody, and welcome to another edition of Storytime Craft Club. Well, we read several books today about Eric Carle, and one of the books we read was Mr. Seahorse. And if you remember, if you noticed how pretty the colors Mr. Seahorse was done in. So what we're going to do today is, if you've got your craft kit, you should have a picture of a seahorse, you should have a white crayon, and you had some instructions on how we're going to do that, what other supplies you needed. You're going to need some crayons. You're going to need either watercolors, just the blue one. So you need some watercolors, or you could use blue food coloring. And if you're using food coloring, you just need a little bit of water for the food coloring, or a little bit of water to wash your brush out if you're using the paints. And you need a paintbrush, because we're going to kind of make some magic here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to color our seahorse all different colors and try to make it just as pretty as we saw in the book by Eric Carl. If you want to do it one color, you can, but I think it's going to make it a lot better if you do all different kinds of colors. And the only thing you have to remember is you want to push kind of hard. Oh, I love Eric Carl too, Remy. What we're going to do is we're going to color this whole seahorse all different colors and we're going to push kind of hard because we want to make sure the white is covered not so hard that we break our crayon but we do want to push a little bit hard and make sure all the white is covered and we're not going to worry about getting it perfect because we got we want all these colors to be in here together so I've got a little bit of purple here hi Everett a little bit of purple now I think I'm going to take some green and I'm just going to color right beside the purple do a little bit of green. Making sure to get the white covered. See there? Can't really see any white in there. And that's what we're wanting. And my colors are pretty dark. So that's good. I'll take some pink. But you don't have to color this just like mine. You could do any color you want to. Any of these different colors. In fact, my package of crayons, I think, is just all mixed up. Might not be the right colors that are supposed to be in this box, but that's okay, because we don't need a certain color. And I am pressing so hard that I'm getting little crayon shavings. That's kind of what we want. We just brush those off. Let's see. We'll do some yellow. Now we're just coloring the seahorse. We're not going to color the outside of it. Just going to do the seahorse. Eric Carl's pictures are so pretty. So pretty. And he uses so many things when he does his pictures. He doesn't just draw them. All right, now I'm going to try some orange. If you want to make your seahorse with some stripes on him, that's okay. If you want to make him with some polka dots on him, that's okay. You can color him any way you want to. Just make sure to use a lot of different colors and make sure to press hard enough so that all of the white is covered in the seahorse, not on the outside. We're going to do something special with the outside. See here? All colored. You don't see any white in there. Let's see. Let's try some blue. And sometimes when you're coloring and you get one color mixed in with the other, you get a whole new color there. That's kind of fun to see what color you make. And if you see some white peeking through, just go back and recolor it. This is really pretty. I love this blue that I just used. How are you doing? Is it coming along pretty good? Oh, I 
I like different colors. Okay, I've almost got it. End up with some purple. We started with purple. We're gonna end. Up, I'm gonna end up with purple. There's mine. Now, if you're finished with yours, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our white crayon that was in your bag, and we're going to make some waves on our picture. And I might make a couple little fish in the picture with my white crayon. You're not going to be able to see it real good until we use our paint, and that's kind of where the magic happens. But I'm going to make some waves behind my seahorse. I'm going to make a little fish or two. And you want to kind of press kind of hard with this white crayon as well. You're going to be surprised at what you see when we're done. I'm going to make another little fish going this way. Can you see them? Uh-uh, I can't either. But wait till we do some painting. Now, what we're gonna do next is, when you're all done drawing your waves, and if you wanna put a little, couple little fish in there, if you're done with those, you might even put a starfish in there if you want to. If you're using the, the food coloring, you're gonna take your blue food coloring and we're gonna pour it into the water because we want the water to be blue. And if you're using the blue paint, we're not going to put the paint in the water. We're just going to use the brush to, to get water on our brush, and then we're going to put it in the blue paint. And you want the blue paint pretty wet. So you want a good bit of water in that blue paint. I'm going to start out with the blue paint. What you're going to do next is, you might want to have some newspapers down for this, but it's watercolor, so it'll wipe off the tables. We're just going to go across the picture. And we're going to paint the whole picture, even over top of the seahorse. I'm going to paint the whole picture with the blue paint. Now, as you go over the picture, watch what happens to your crayon marks. Something special is going to happen. Get some more water, because we do want our blue paint to be really watery. What's happening to your crayon marks? Do you see? What's happening to my crayon marks? There they are. And it looks like waves. Now, as I go down, I'm gonna to switch to the blue food coloring so you can see that it does the exact same thing. It's probably gonna be a little darker though since my, I put a lot of food coloring in there. Yeah, not too much. So if you don't have blue paint at home, food coloring works just as well. I'm going to go on down and I'm going to show you what happened. Now as we painted over the seahorse, the water kind of beat it up and it made it look really cute too. I like that. What do you see? This is the food coloring and up here is the paint does just the same thing. See my little fishes appear there? Almost like magic. This happens because the crayons are made out of wax. And water doesn't like to stay on wax. It kind of pulls away from the wax. So that's why you can see your crayon marks when you paint over them with the watercolor or the food coloring. Doesn't that make a really pretty picture? Eric Carl would be proud. Well, that is our craft for today. Join us next week when we'll have 
a lot more fun stories, and another really special craft. See you later. Bye-bye.